Hey guys, this is Sharon. I thought that I would come back for a long overdue uh, video of my planner setup. As some of you know, I kind of took a planner break uh, in April and May. I was just frustrated and uber busy at work and wasn't really having time to uh, update my planner. So I just decided to go all electronic and um, I think I'm going to try to do a video on what I was doing electronically because I think that it is really cool um, and I was very productive and um, I was getting things done and it wasn't taking a lot of extra work but I'm just a paper person and I it wasn't making me happy as silly as that sounds but anyway I'm back I've been back since June and I even took a uh, try at the um, life mapping inserts and I got the three month trial and literally I used them for a week and knew that they were not for me. It was just too complicated. I love, love, love the concept and really would love to to use them um, and I can see how they work for so many people but for me it was just way too much rewriting and recopying and page flipping and it would just was not working out for me so um, I am back to my normal day runner two page per day um, format and so I thought that I'd give you a quick run through of my current setup it's pretty close to the way it's been in the past uh, with a few changes and we'll go from there I'm using my um, personal ochre Malden and as usual it's very full I have implemented some top tabs and then I have the usual side tabs and uh, just the page marker at the bottom I, yesterday I did add this charm I was bitten by the charm bug um, and I can already tell it's going to get on my nerves so um, but that's it for now so we'll open it up and I do use this as my wallet, so this has all of my cards, driver's license, uh, work ID and computer ID, other business cards um, and other doodads go in here. I think I have a spare post-it note tab uh, pad in here. In here, in this zip pocket, I do keep some change. Um, this doesn't make it too bulky or anything. This is a, either a day runner or a day timer pocket folder, I can never remember. But I use this to slide in receipts, checks, other things that need to be taken care of. And on the back I have um, coupons and extra paper clips. And then over here I have a post-it note just with a list of all the coupons I have over here and their expiration date so that I'll remember that I have them. Uh, this is just a piece of cardboard with a pen holder and right now I'm using the Pilot G2 um, gel pen and it's point three eight. Yeah, point three eight. Um, I really love that because I love the fine the fine uh, tip. Some stickers that I use occasionally. Um, this is just a clear fly leaf that's holding some post-it notes and a little fortune. Your life is a dashing and bold adventure. These are some, um, I was playing around with the Zen Doodles, so these are just a few that I did that I think look cool, so I keep them in here. This is one that I started but haven't finished. This is a list of the little shops in my area that carry Filofax um, items so I keep that in here and I have my wish list here and I cross them out as I go through them this is my just my normal Filofax page you see it's from 2012 that's how long it's been in here um, well not really I think I bought a Filofax binder a couple of years ago that had 2012 inserts in it Anyway, I just keep this here um, mostly for the page size to help me remember and it has a registration code. And this is a pen test page. 
My first section is my personal info, and this is where I have uh, emergency phone numbers, all of my usernames for social media, and birthdays and anniversaries. My next section is notes. Um, this is just kind of what I keep open all throughout the day. This is my brain dump. Um, and then as I do whatever needs to be done with it, I cross it off. And I have it paper clipped. I just paper clip all the pages that I've used. And have some blank paper. And I have my uh, weekly planning notes my personal master tasks and I have a few pages of that so I just have them clipped together. I have my sharpen the saw section <clears throat> where I'm trying to list out the different things that I want to do to sharpen my saw. This is my goals section and these pages that are clipped together are the pages that I review um, at the end of the year when I'm planning my goals for the coming year. And I'll go through that. I, you guys have seen that, but um, I'll try to do like a goal planning video at the end of the year. This is just um, a planning calendar that I used, <coughs> started to use, to map out the things that I was going to do throughout the month, but that didn't really come to fruition. So then um, I just have um, all of my goals here, and I have uh, little side tabs. These are projects, goals, little things that I've got going on. So I just have side tabs um, for uh, to, to mark where they are. Oh, and this is the one book, one month challenge for, um, for July. I'm going to do another video on that too because I am participating in that. Um, I am just using it to get back to using my planner instead of all of my electronic stuff and the few little notebooks I had on the side while I was electronic uh, but I'll do a different uh, separate video on that so these are just some all these are all other things goals that I've got going on projects that I've got going on and then I've got another blank piece of paper for extra and these are my this is my diary section I'm again I'm using the uh, day runner two page per day um, but they also come with these uh, monthly two page per month um, pages which are very helpful they have the tabs and I just keep the whole year in here and I use them mostly for forward planning um, and I also at the beginning of the year I'll put all of the birthdays uh, the, our schedule with the girls uh, holidays I'll put them all on and then I use them for forward planning um, and then when I come to the current month, when I'm updating my daily pages for the current month, all of this stuff gets copied over to the current month. So I really only use these for, for uh, forward planning. Once the month has gone by, I don't use it for anything else. But I do like to keep them in here. And we have June, and June is gone, and I have clipped all of my pages together. Um, I'll be pulling these out to archive them but I just left them in here for the video. And then we're here at July and we're here at today. So I'm basically doing the same as I've done before. Um, I use this section for tasks, this section for appointments. Today of course I didn't have any. And this is for overflow, tasks, notes, um, journaling if I have the space to do it all kinds of stuff and then these are my pages for the coming week written in appointments and these are dew drops for um, recurring appointments meetings and yeah, it's pretty much the same throughout then at the end of the diary section I have a work section and then I have a motivation section and this really just has quotes you guys have seen it before affirmations little pick-me-ups I'll turn to this occasionally I have a few blank pages back here 
um, for anything else that I want to add to it. And this is an uh, anniversary card that my husband gave me. I have in a top loading pocket. Keeps it pretty stiff and I kind of use that as a page lifter. Um, in here right now I just have some random um, sheets I've been working on uh, cleaning routine and whatnot. This is just a friction pen, purple pen that I've been using today. Most of the time though I just have a highlighter in this pen loop which it doesn't really fit. Nothing fits in these Malden pen loops that I have found. So I just kind of clip it to the side here and that holds it. And then I'm using this Pilot um, G2 pen. Um, but I've also been using my friction pens and I was starting to panic because, well not panic, but I love the friction pens because you can erase. But I've heard people say that if they get hot then the ink disappears and that just freaks me out. So um, I haven't been using them but I, I just started using them again. So I, I actually have a test going on right now. I've got some paper uh, with uh, writing on it with the friction um, pens out on the balcony and it's been out there since yesterday afternoon um, in the heat. It's, it's uh, I've got it tacked down in the in the sunlight so I'm trying to see if that's going to make the ink disappear and if it does then I'm going to try uh, putting it back into the freezer to see if it makes it reappear which is what I've heard so stay tuned for those results um, somewhat scientific results but um, <laughs> at any rate I know this is a quick jiggly video but I just wanted to touch base and let you all know that I am still alive and I am back in my planner which I'm loving um, and it's full as usual, but I'll be taking June out, so that will help a little bit. Anyway, I hope you guys are well, and um, you guys start posting some videos, because you know there's hardly anything out there new and exciting. Um, so I've been reviewing my favorites, which is fine, but we need some new videos, people. Anyway, I hope you guys are well, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!